from Austria. I'm from Canada. Egypt. So I'm from Ghana. We are from the US. And I'm with the Washington Global Health Alliance. We are from Philippines. I'm from France. I'm working for Global um, Sustainable Finance Think Tank. Egypt. I am from Belgium. I'm from Belgium. I work on Asia, EU, climate policy relations. I'm originally from Cyprus. I'm from Morocco. I'm from Brazil originally. Uh, actually representing Morocco here. I'm from Germany and I'm a member of the parliament there. Technology and uh, industry. Beautiful culture. Very long cultural heritage, long history. Uh, massive um, geographical scope. We really admire what China is achieving with permanently manned space stations. I find uh, Chinese people very strong. Uh, people are hardworking and people are very caring about the communities that they're in. They care about their families. They... I think that Chinese people are very hardworking, uh, very dedicated, and uh, yeah, the, the country is very ambitious. China, uh, I think, is a uh, a great economy. Uh, this country is a friend of all nations. I love China so much. I love uh, the samurai, the uh, martial arts. Uh, I love the Chinese food. I'm very interested by the climate policy of China, by the energy policy. You're always ahead on the technology side of things especially what we do when it comes to solar. I'm very interested in understanding how China is doing urban sustainability. I've just met uh, members of the, the Chinese Congress one hour ago, and I see it like this. China invests a lot in renewables. Uh, still, I believe it's impressive how fast and how much China invests in renewables. It's ahead in the development and improvement of technology. Uh, they're ahead in many areas and I wish I can see that. Also very rich, rich regarding history, culture. Uh, the gastronomy is very interesting as well. I love, I love the, the, the food. <laughs> Mostly uh, materials, raw goods, uh, technological equipment, um, a lot of things that have to do with telecoms, a lot of things that have to do with electrical. I think China provides first uh, its people and their resources and their abilities, their talents, their expertise, but it also provides this, this um, energy you know, for uh, being able to do a lot of things. And obviously it has an economic might, so when China, uh, just as other nation states, uh, have policies or changes their policies or, or make some change of whatever they're doing uh, in terms of their, their approach to environmental uh, health and environment, uh, what that does is it has ripple effects on other countries as well as the globe in general. At least in, in climate change, I, I see a lot of uh, development uh, in, in your uh, work now toward uh, uh, carbon emission reductions and uh, toward uh, new technologies for uh, renewable energy and uh, uh, carbon emission uh, storage. You know. I think um, China is moving very fast um, in, the, in the energy se sector, in energy efficiency, in uh, building also sustainable climate um, solutions. China is playing a key role within our federation. And they have um, an industrial manipulation on so many sectors. Um, most of the goods and the daily things that we use around actually are made in China. My phone is made in China, my shoes is made in China. And uh, I think this is a good thing. And at the same time, it makes uh, makes China more powerful and also more responsible to take action towards climate. My interest in China is to uh, you know, get more business partners in China that will aid my business ideas. In the renewable energy uh, industry, and the China will be feeding the world with all the equipment. To tackle the, the challenges ahead, we need a lot of science, a lot of technology, a lot of engineering. Yep. Germany buys most of its uh, solar panels from China, so, th so that's all happening. 
Um, but yeah, we can all learn from each other. I think China has a lot of responsibility over the emissions of the entire world. Uh, I do see some hope in that sense that I feel China is also investing a lot in renewable energy and all of that. So I hope China is going to stand up to the challenge uh, and uh, hold the responsibility of uh, fossil fuel emissions. Um, I'm, my impression is that China is an enormous country and I feel like it has a lot of responsibility on the damage that is happening in the climate right now. Therefore, it also has a lot of responsibility to take a big part in climate action um, and also indeed a lot of influence. Well, the world cannot reach the Paris Agreement objective without China, so I think China has done a large effort in implementing the first Chinese national emission trading schemes.